pipe organ is one of the few musical instruments that helps one to break a sweat while playing or practicing. What you just heard was an excerpt from the beginning of J.S. Bach's pedal exercise. Here you can see the original manuscript, which was copied down by his son, Carl Philipp Emanuel Bach. I'll play the piece in its entirety at the end of this video. J.S. Bach was known as an incredible keyboardist, and this included amazing facility at the organ. One observer declared, after hearing the master play, that he ran over the pedal so quickly that his feet appeared winged with a thundering fullness of sound and penetrated the ears of the listeners like a bolt of lightning. When someone starts to learn the organ, piano technique is certainly useful, but one of the largest differences between those two instruments is the use of pedals. Learning to play the pedal board definitely takes coordination, but just like most disciplines, it becomes easier with practice. Organists have special shoes that help them run up and down the keyboard. As you can see, this is not unlike a character shoe that might be used in the theater. It has a flexible sole and a soft suede bottom to allow me to feel around the keys. And it has a little heel to give me a little bit of extra stretch. Organists usually use both their heels and their toes on each foot when they direct their weight to play a pedal note. However, we try our best not to stare down at our feet while we play. This means that we need to learn to feel the distance between notes in our feet without having to look down. When I first learned the organ, I remember one of my teachers held a book right under my chin while I played so that I couldn't look down at the pedals even if I wanted to. As one's coordination and comfort improves on the organ, it becomes much more second nature to play separate lines of music with your feet, and eventually it just becomes another factor of your muscle memory. Now, looking back at this pedal exercise by Bach, it could have been used merely as an etude for practicing pedal technique, or perhaps as an extended introduction to a longer notated prelude or fugue. It may have even been written for a cellist originally, since the large jumps between notes and the scale passages would test the string crossing technique of a cellist, not unlike this prelude from the suite in G major that may be familiar to you. This piece may also have been written as a prompt for improvisation practice, or what you might call spontaneous composition. The piece itself is in G minor, but the written notes end on the dominant of the key, D. This leaves it sounding unfinished. So perhaps a young organ student of Bach may have learned the piece as a test both of pedal agility, but then also of his or her skill in bringing the piece to a satisfying musical close harmonically. When I perform the piece in a moment, I will try to play some sort of ending that gets us back into G minor. I'm also going to try to quote Bach's musical signature, which is B-A-C-H. In German music notation, this comes out to B flat, A, C, B natural. See if you can hear it. Mm -hmm. 